Hey guys, what's up? So, sorry it's been a while since I made a video. I've just been sick. Um, not like coronavirus or virus sick, but like I've been dizzy for the past like two weeks and I don't know why. So that's why I've been gone for a while. Um, but I'm back and I'm starting with a book review. I know that's like totally like stupid just like after coming back, but we're gonna do it. This book review is of Cheaper by the Dozen, um, and yes, I did say book review of Cheaper by the Dozen, which is a movie. Um, it's actually like there were two movies. There's one like that came out like way, way back when, and then another one that was like made in like the early 2000s maybe? I don't know, I don't remember. But I love the movie with Steve Martin, um, the one that was made more my child. Um, era and I was watching the credits um, one day um, and it said based on the book True Brother does them like there's a book which I guess it was based on a real family now before I go any further let me just put a disclaimer on there if you guys love the movie and you're expecting it to be the exact same way as the book don't read the book because it's not at all what I expected it's basically just um, about the family the movie is based on um, and their life, um, and that's all I can say about it. Um, what I found cool was um, the family took vacations in Nantucket, which is just like um, a boat ride away from where I live. So that was so cool. Um, for those of you guys who are fans of Megan Trainor, I'm pretty sure. Megan Trainers from Nantucket, or like some part of Nantucket, um, which is in Massachusetts. Um, me and Megan literally lived kind of close to each other, but we never knew each other. I didn't go, she didn't go to my high school, I didn't go to her high school. So, before you guys spreading rumors that I know her, I don't. I know her as much as you fans of her probably know, probably even a little less. Um, but literally, we probably could have met one time in our lives and not even know it. Um, but whatever. Um but the cheaper by the family the cheaper by the dozen family did um vacation in uh Nantucket when they were younger. Um the names are different. The things are different. Um I think the thing that was most like most like was the age of the kids and how they came and them having the same mother and the same father of all 12 god bless the mother i don't think i'd be able to handle 12 kids no i don't think i'd be able to handle six kids let, let alone a dozen and then like imagine if it was a baker's dozen that's like 13 um but in all honesty whatever you know i mean um if you guys ever heard of Yours, Mine, Ours, which is based on, like, the Beardsley North family, um, there was a movie with Lucille Ball, like, way back when, and then there was a remake with Dennis Quaid and all that, um, but they had 18 children, but that was, like, but they were, like, a blended family, um, like that, but still, some of the kids were really young, and then they had another one. That's, like, 19. Like, I don't think I can even handle six, let alone 12, though, for, like, she reminded us, and, like, God bless her. Um, and it just wasn't what I was expecting. So, if you definitely want to read it, um, just to learn about the family that the movie is based on, it's a good book. If you're expecting to be, like, the movie, not a good book. Um, for my expectations, I would rate it a solid 5 out of 10. Alright, so if you guys like this video, if you did, comment down below. If you can, if you cannot, go to my Instagram, which is just obs1994, and comment on my roast, my roast, yeah, my most recent pick. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, yeah, alright. Peace out, guys.